In this video, we are going to solve problem 2 test 60 from RC Revealer Engineering Statics 12th edition. What is the problem? Determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force acting on the bracket. To solve this pro problem, first of all, we have to resolve these forces into their components. I can draw the projection of F1 force on the plane containing x and y axis. Let's call this F1 cos 45 degrees. Also, I can resolve this F1 cos 45 along two axes parallel to y-axis and parallel, parallel to x-axis like this and like this this one is f1 cos 45 and sine 30 similarly component is f1 cos 45 and cos 30 also, we have one more component of F1 force, which is parallel to Z-axis. Component. This component is equal to F1 sine 45 degrees. Okay. So, we have now resolved F1 force into its component. Let's call this K component. This one is I component and this is J component. Also, we have to resolve F2 force into the components. So, we can see that it is forming one angle with the X axis, one with the Y axis and we have another angle with the Z axis. This angle. Let's call this gamma. So we know this one is alpha, theta. Basically, these are the coordinate direction angles of F2 force. To find the third angle, we have this relation. Let us write F1 force first into its component. So F1 equals F1 cos 45 sine 30. I plus F1 cos 45 cos 30 F1 equals F1 cos 45 degrees and sine 30 degrees plus F1 cos 45 degrees and cos 30 degrees plus F1 sine 45 degrees. F1 equals we have given the magnitude of F1 which is 450 newtons so upon putting 450 into F1 we are going to end up with negative 159.1i plus 275.6j plus 318.2k newtons For F2, we know alpha 5 degrees, we know beta which is 60 degrees, but we do not know gamma right now. 
we have a relation which is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equals 1 from this relation we can find the value of gamma as cos inverse square root of 1 minus cos square alpha cos square beta we are going to end up with two values for the L for the gamma gamma 1 would be 120 degrees and gamma 2 would be 60 degrees now we have to select between these two values like which one is the right value from the figure we can clearly see that the F2 force is going downwards it's not on the plane it is not just lying on this plane containing x y but it is going downwards it also has a z component why we are saying this because look at the picture right here we have given this line straight line which is indicating that it's going downwards it's parallel to z axis so our gamma is clearly greater than 90 degrees gamma is greater than 90 degrees so this one is the right choice for f2 f2 equals f2 cos alpha plus f2 cos beta plus f2 cos gamma on putting the value of F2 which is 600 newtons 600 cos 45 100 cos 60 plus 600 cos 120 have 424.26i plus 300j minus 300k in newtons For the resultant force, we have to sum up F1 and F2. Fr equals F1 plus F2. Fr equals. Now we have negative 159.1 plus. 424.26 i plus 275.6 plus 300j plus plus 318.2 minus 300k so fr equals 265.16i plus 575.57j plus 18.2k we also need the magnitude of fr force for coordinate direction angles so it is 265.16 whole square plus 575.57 whole square plus 18.2 whole square and the square root fr in terms of magnitude can be written as 634 newtons
for coordinate direction angle Cos alpha equals frx fr equals 265.16 over 634 alpha equals cos inverse 265.16 over 634 alpha equals 65.27 degrees similarly cos beta equals fry over fr f575.57 over 634 theta equals 24.8 degrees cos gamma equals frz over fr 18.2 over 634 gamma equals 88 Point three six degrees. So this is it. This is the solution of this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please feel free to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates. Thank you.